up, my beautiful peoples? Welcome to another episode of Rizzy Talks, where we talk about anything and everything. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Bills game, my weekend, and a few other things. Let's go! Well, uh, first of all, let me start you guys off with my weekend. I have to say, it was a long, rough weekend for me. I uh, I got this new mount for my camera, so uh, let me know out there how you guys like it, how you like this, uh, this view here. Kind of the same view, but I'm using one of my other cameras because I got a mount to put on a window. Anyway, like I said, the weekend was tough, man. I came across some really ignorant, ignorant people uh, as far as customers when I was working this weekend. But being the man that I am, I take pride in the work that I do because at the end of the day, I'm the one doing the work. So I kept a smile on my face and I did my work and I did it well. Now, I don't watch much football. Keep real with you guys. I don't watch any sport, to be honest with you. I don't even watch much TV. But I did catch a good part of the Bills game. I caught all the highlights. And I don't have a favorite team because I don't watch sports. But, but, but I do root for my hometown team, the Buffalo Bills. I don't know much about football, so don't kill me in the comments. But I do have to say they gave the game away. I mean, we were up 16-0. I mean, let them come back in overtime. I will say the other team, the quarterback, he's a swift one. The little move he did. I don't know how we didn't tackle him. One particular play, both our, both of our, you know, Buffalo Bills defense was on the quarterback. I thought they were going to sack him. He spun out of it somehow. His guy that he was shooting the ball to looked like he slipped. He got back up. He was running. Two other of our defense was coming at him. Shot the ball right to the guy. And nailed it, man. I, 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 and, and then he ran it down to the nine-yard line. I don't like this. Don't like this stand so far. It keeps, keeps tilting. I don't like that so far. I got this off of Amazon. I don't, I don't really like the way it keeps tilting. But yeah, man, that 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 really disappointed me this weekend. So now no more bills. And uh, my son follow follow the uh, follow football. I don't know who his favorite team is, but I know he was pretty mad that the uh, Bills lost. And uh, I can say, hey, the good part is, man, we got another strong season. We learned a lot about the quarterback and a lot of the other teammates. So hopefully, you know, next season we come back, come back even stronger and do what we do. Uh, a few other things I wanted to, I wanted to uh, touch on was I got my full review for my truck coming out. I just haven't put it out yet. I don't know why. Um, mainly because of stuff like this. I just wanted to talk about my weekend and what's going on. But uh, I do have my full review of uh, my truck. Just pretty much going through it, showing, I know, uh, there's plenty of videos out there of these trucks and the newer 2020s, which are, the 2020s are bad, badass, I have to admit. I did do a full review of the truck. Um, I might put that out through the week or next week, I'm not 100% sure yet. As far as my DC challenge, comment below if you're doing the dc challenge i want to know if you are and how it's going because for me right now it's quite stressful i mean i realize how out of shape i am i mean i've been doing push-ups sit-ups uh jumping jacks and i and the way i do it i just go into i give out but damn i am out of shape the good thing is i'm getting back in shape I got a plan for me and my family to uh, be healthier in every way, spiritually, physically, and mentally. So the good thing is I'm getting, I'm gonna get better, but man, my body is really sore right now. Uh, as far as eating, I've been doing good. 
but I've been having the strongest cravings for ice cream and something really fucking greasy, man. I know it sounds bad, but when you're used to eating fast food and going out as much as me and my family do, you get kind of used to it. And now that I can't go out, I want to see this thing keeps twisting. I don't like, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't like the fact how it just keeps twisting. You know, it, it works good, but I had to put an extension on there so my mic wouldn't be hitting my window. So you guys won't be hearing the tap, 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 tap. But don't seem to be working as good as I wanted to. Seem like it's kind of bouncy too. But I know once I get it into the uh, computer, I'll see how bouncy it is. But it looks bouncy right now. But yeah, um, and uh, one more thing I wanted to touch on is, I don't know if this ever happened to you guys, but here goes a quick little fast story of what happened to me at work, which I consider a very disrespectful person. I come to work, I bring me on lunch when I go to work because I'm trying not, you know, I'm trying not to go out and save money or whatever. So I bring my lunch, I put it in the, in the refrigerator we have at the job. Well, this particular, uh, this thing keeps going sideways. Yeah, I might have to change this, um, guys. But one of the other workers there ate my food. On the refrigerator, it says, if you did not put the food in there, 99% chance that it's not yours. Common sense, right? So when I confronted him about it, he said it wasn't him. So I go around, you know, and I ask everybody, hey, did you eat this? Did you eat this? Everybody said no. So I went back to this guy and I'm like, well, who ate this? Whoever ate my food owes me the money for what it costs to get that food. He said, I'll just pay you. Immediately in my brain, the way that I think, I'm like, if you're just going to cough up the money, the more likely you did it. Because why would you give me the money if you didn't eat it? And... I had to keep on him about it. Then he finally came out and said, oh, you're mad, so, you know, but I did do it. Disrespectful people. How could you go and eat somebody else's lunch and not even care, then lie about it on top of that? Let me know if that ever happened to you guys because that was straight disrespectful to me, like highly disrespectful. But let me calm down because I'm getting kind of hyper right now because of it because it still bothers me. But I hope you guys had a great weekend. If you did a DC challenge, comment down below. Let me know how you doing. Let me know what you did this weekend. And let me know if you have a story like that. I would love to hear it. Other than that, I love you guys. And you already know, I holla at y'all, man. Peace. Don't want to hit my own car. Y'all already know it's your boy Rizzy. 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 Rizzy.